Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Um, so guys, I'm doing a reading for the Earth signs today. Um, today's Friday. I know I normally don't do them on Friday. I normally do them on Saturday. But this morning I decided I just wanted to focus on the energies of love. So what I did was, was I called in my spirit guides and my spiritual counselors. I called in the spiritual counselors of, an, of any Earth sign that they want to give the message to about love. Um, like either finding a partner, improving the love life of the partner you have now that can positively affect your personal world, like the people around you, um, your family, um, or maybe what you and maybe you and this person come together to share a goal. I mean, whatever the case may be that somebody that you might meet that it brings more love into your life than what you've had before and it feels better than past relationships and it feels more like this is the one that's meant to be by your side or something like that okay something that brings more love and more joy into your life than maybe what you've previously had or whatever so let me just tell you what we got here and this message is an angel message because i got seven and i got seven but just to let y'all know this one came with a lot of little sub messages at the bottom that have to do with other people, how it affects you going into the future, um, what you care, don't care about. So I kind of got more of an insight into how whoever this message is for, how this person, what they think. I kind of like got what not wasn't so much in their control, but what, how, what they think and feel towards the bottom. So this message might resonate for you specifically, or it might it might not. So. Um, I'm just going to read to y'all what I've got here, what I'm picking up on, what they're telling me, and we'll see what they show me as we go along, and then I'll pull some tarot on it, and we'll see what we got, okay? So this is for the earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So guys, to start with, we have opening, and then we have Hagalus. So this to me is signifying, because I asked about love, that this is somebody that is either someone from your past Okay, that you broke up with or someone that you're in the middle of dissolving a relationship with, like maybe you're in the middle of a divorce or something like that, because this is someone that y'all are just going your own separate ways, you're telling me. Okay, and there's some sadness there and, and maybe some regrets, but at the same time, it's kind of on a mutual level that that you both know that this is for the best thing. And this is something that's been ongoing in the recent past. Okay. Up to whenever you get this meet message that it resonates okay because you just feel like both you know you especially whoever this message is for you just you just you're just feeling even though it's really hurting your heart you're feeling like it's just time to move on okay but also with the with with um the signals ring this morning i'm also getting that somewhere along the way you you're single for a while and then you then with the birth room coming next, you actually meet someone in the future that isn't somebody you ordinarily would pick, they're telling me, okay? And I feel like that kind of goes along with this, with tear uh, reversed on the second line here. It's like a little, kind of like a, a little, it's not somebody you ordinarily, okay, would go for, okay? At any rate... You go through this doorway where you're like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, maybe the kind of people I've picked in the past are not the ones that, maybe I've always picked someone because more for their looks than their personality or more for, you know, something that they have or don't have. I'm not trying to say you're shallow, guys. I'm just saying that you've just always picked partners that attract you on one level, but you actually, because you come into your healing gifts, you start seeing the world in a different, different way. Because guys, if y'all been looking at my other readings, people are growing and changing. And as they, as things progress, they are, they're not living their lives in the same way anymore. So maybe you decide that you, now that you've become a healer or you're, you're understanding your intuitive gifts, you're not looking at people the same way. Therefore, you're not going to pick the same kind of people anymore. Okay. So, um, and then we have, this is on your path of destiny. Okay. Now I did ask that, that this be something that is, a, that, that if you, that for whoever this message is for, that it be hopefully for somebody that maybe on a positive level, um, it brings more joy into your life. Um, you, you, 
see and understand things in a different way. And there's it, it just it's a relationship that maybe brings more joy in your life than what it did before. Because now that you see things differently, because we're all evolving guys all the time, that at some point in the future, you and this person together, because you you changed and grown and become a different person over time. And we're going more towards the 5D and the age of Aquarius. The other people have too, and this person you meet, they're not typically somebody you would meet that you, or that you would that you would fall for, but you see things in this this person that and you're looking at things differently, therefore you're picking someone different that has different I don't know, they're just telling me something different. Okay. Um not your usual person is what I just keep hearing in my head. Okay. They just keep telling me, but it is somebody that's on your faded path of destiny. Okay. And so when you do finally meet this person. It brings a lot of joy and movement in your life that you did not think possible. Okay, you see this because we've got Jero, which is fruits of your labor, uh, rewards for efforts expanded. Maybe you take some classes on um, how to, you know, maybe you look, you go see a counselor after this 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 relationship here fails, or not fails, but you that you go your separate ways. Maybe you um, learn how to be more compromising but at any rate I feel like you 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 go in you learn you you want to improve yourself some way so you take some classes you read some books you talk to people that have had long successful relationships you want something different okay so to because you want to be happy so because of that you take it upon yourself to learn how to just be a better person in some way in relationship wise does that make sense maybe you find a youtuber that t that's all about relationships and you go and you learn some things and you go oh wow i didn't realize that about myself i didn't realize you know i didn't realize that i you know thought this way or did this way well that's a habit i want to change so somehow kind of way you have more movement going into the future be in a positive way because you seek about to on purposely change yourself to be the right partner not just find the right partner you want to be the right partner and when you find them they're not who you normally would pick, and you're like, wow. But you're like, there's something about them that draws you in that you know that this is a better relationship for you, and you feel like it's good, solid, it's something that is going to last. Because then we have Algus, and in some way, shape, or form, this relationship that you meet, it makes you more whole. It makes you... I don't know how to put it. I'm trying to put, I'm trying to explain to y'all how, what they're telling, because right now they're just like flooding me with emotion and saying, and saying, yes, yes, yes. And I'm trying to figure out how to put words to what they're telling me. But at any rate, you, you just become a better person. Okay. Because then we have Nautis. So right there the, with Nautis after that, it's telling me that you let go of some things about yourself that you don't like. You change something about yourself. All along here, guys, because this person, this partnership is very important to you. And it is on your path of destiny. And you realize it on an intuitive level. So maybe it's it's like an intuitive thing that you know to be a better person, you have or to meet a better person, you have to be a better person. In some way you decide to change something within your core self, guys. Okay? Within your core self, in your personality and your characteristics and the way you see things and the way you understand the way you communicate you on purposely go and change something guys because you want to be a better person and you want to be the right person does that make sense that's what i'm getting from from this okay so and this is an angel message guys because we have seven and seven and then i get all these little sub messages and i'm like okay and they're within your control but it also has to do with other people i'm going to explain that to you in a second here and I was like, guys, this is just a lovely message. If you're looking for love, if you're wanting to have a better, more meaningful relationship than you've ever had before, some of you are going to put the time and effort into there. Because, you know, <clears throat> um, our signs, um, they're more stable, solid, they're more slow moving. But at the same time, like Virgos, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp. It's, it's all in the details. Something about yourself, you change because you want to be the right partner and you don't want to be the same anymore okay now another thing about this reverse tier i'm also feeling like and because of what we get at the bottom there's going to be some people around you that are going to go really why him or why her and you're going to go i don't care what you think guys a lot i think as we're going into the future 
going to, with the 5D, the age of Aquarius, more people are caring less and less. For those of you that do care how things look to the outside world, more and more people are standing up and defending themselves and, and realizing that they are one of a kind. And as you go in, because like guys, by the time you get in my age, you start realizing a lot of things you did not, you just did not see when you were younger of life's lessons as you go into the future. And every single one of us, there is not no one else exactly like you. They broke the mold and they made you. And for all the, what, 13 billion, however many billions of people on the planet, there is no one exactly like you. And I've talked about this before. There is no one exactly like you. They broke the mold and they made you. Even if you're a twin, you and your twin have even different DNA. They've proven that scientifically, guys. There is no one else exactly like you. You're not wired exactly like every other person. Even if you have 10 brothers and sisters, all of y'all are different in some way, shape, or form. So, guys, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you what they're telling me, okay? So, then what we have here... Down here on these little sub-messages, we have, you know, normally if Perth is the other way around, it's talking about secrets coming to light. This and life going forward is telling me that you don't care what other people think, okay? You, and the reason why I say that is because then we have foundation, we have reverse lagoos. And what does that tell you guys right there? Somebody around you and your family, friends, whatever, do not like this person that you meet. And you don't care. Because you've made an effort to change yourself to be a better person, to be the right person. And this person that you meet is not like anyone you've been with before. They're way different. Maybe their religious beliefs are different. Maybe the way, um, maybe um, your family's always been against anyone that was, you know, had multi partners or had, you know, or had, had at one time or another experience being with somebody of the same sex or um, maybe. Um, your family's always been like, you know, you have to be married before you have sex and you meet somebody that had a, had a child out of wedlock and your family's like, but that's not the kind of people that we approve of. And you're like, I don't give a shit. Okay. You just don't care because you have grown as a person. And even though this person is not like someone that you would ordinarily choose in your heart. And guys, you see my little hearts around here. Every single one of these little hearts. I mean, someone gave me that one. But this one I found on my school bus. A lot of these I found. Look, I even have an angel angel wing up here. <laughs> um, but guys, you know in your heart that, that this is, you just know it's right for you. Okay? Now, then we have Rado and we have Fihu. Now, I'm feeling like this person doesn't have as much money or as much status or in some way shape or form you have or, or switch your energies around guys it could be the other way around they have more money and status than you do or they are known in some way and you're not or you're known and they're not known which is one of the reasons why your family's like oh, but why would you do that and you're like i don't give a shit <laughs> that's what i'm hearing because then we have frozen and we have reversed man is guys whoever this person is or whoever you are that picks this new person going into the future okay i i just heard power couple i just heard power couple so whoever this person is regardless if it's two if you're two gentlemen if you're two ladies if you're a man and a woman whatever the case may be maybe you're maybe you fell in love with somebody that's transgendered and they've had a sex change Guys, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm just feeling like it's someone way different, but you're, you're not judging. Now, your family may be, but you don't care. You love this person, and this you and this person together become a power couple, I'm hearing. In some way, shape, or form, that, that brings positive transformation, positive energies around either the people you love, the people you hang out with, um, business wise whatever you and once you and this person get together as time goes into the future you and this person become some type of power couple they're saying all right so earth signs that's what i have for you this morning let me pull a couple of rooms look, look, look. i'm getting ready to sign off here without pulling the, the, the cards i'm so sorry guys hang on one second here but i feel like this is a really positive message for some earth sign out there that is looking for love just um got out of a relationship and decided that they didn't want to be the same person anymore they wanted to be a better person so they took some classes they took some lectures they read some books they uh went and got counseling of some type they decided they didn't want to be the same person anymore so they on purposely went on purposely went to make changes within their own 
character, their psyche, the way they see things, feel things. Just some kind of a change, guys, that that made them a better person after they they did this. So, guys, this is a reading that, that that's not going to be like an overnight thing or an immediate thing. Or it may be something that somebody's already in the middle of going through. It may be something that somebody's like somebody could be breaking them right now, but at the same time, somebody could have just met this person not too long ago that are becoming this power couple that they're talking about to me. That so whatever stage of the game that you find yourself, if this reading resonates for you, okay, because you're gonna have some people that are at the beginning. This is what people don't understand about readings, guys. Some of you are gonna be at the beginning, some of you haven't got here yet, some of you are past this, and you're like, oh yeah, this reading is my recent past. Okay, this reading does not have a time limit on it, guys. Okay. Some of you are going to say, oh, gee, I can't wait for this to happen. Some of you may say, oh, wow, you know, I think I may have just met that person. Whatever the case may be for you, switch the energies around, have they resonate. You could be the one that that is like, well, I just met somebody and his family has a lot of money and my family is just a simple, you know, you know, my parents worked, worked, um, you know, my mom worked in an office and my dad, you know, did this and, and but his family has always been conglomerate in America, whatever. OK, and your money and possessions just are not going to matter, guys. They're just not. OK. All right, so let me pull some runes on this. I mean, not runes, some cards on this. So, angel spirit guys, spiritual councils of these earth signs that are looking for love, just recently found love, or whatever the case may be. What other messages do you want to tell them, give them, that let them know this message is for them? What other messages do you want to give them? What other messages do you want to give them? To do with love. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Okay. So. I'm going to pull a couple of them, guys. And then we're going to see what they tell us. Because, um. So, first of all, we've got the star, the star card. So, this is a dream coming true. Okay, guys? Um, and it feels like today it's telling me that, that this is going to be a dream come true for you, that you do meet the love of your life. Oh, and then we have the tower card, guy, so, guys. So, this is, um, this is for somebody, for this dream to come true, you have to let go of the past, they're saying. So, if you're one of those people in, 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 in this reading, if this reading resonates for you, and you're in the middle of trying to make yourself a better person, just saying you're going to have to let go of the past. So, whatever this opening in this haggle is, is right here, whatever this other person did to you, however the relationship didn't work, you're going to have to do some healing from that, they're saying. Okay? You're going to have to go take, you're going to have to give yourself some time to heal before you meet this person for this dream to come true. Okay, so that's a message for somebody. Because, guys, I get sub -me little messages throughout all my readings anymore. They'll, somebody will, like, speak. It feels like, if guys, it feels like somebody in your in the in the spiritual realm will go, hey, wait, I want to make sure so-and-so gets this message. So, hey, make sure you tell them this. Because then it'll seem like, oh, make sure you tell them this. Make sure you tell them that. So I'm just telling y'all as I get the messages, what they what they how they're coming through for me. So somebody, your wish is going to come true that you're going to meet someone. But you're going to have to do some healing first. Yep. And you have all the tools to do this. Okay. So for this magician card, somebody that's telling me somebody. That's somebody that's guys. That's I'm feeling like that's where this where somebody tells their family. I don't care that you don't. I don't care that you don't like the person I've just chosen. I know in my heart it's the right thing to do. That's the message. That's exactly what I just heard from this card, guys. <clears throat> okay. So somebody, one of you out there, you're going to, you're going to tell your family members, you're going to say, you know what? I can make my own decisions. I know what I'm doing. Does that make sense, guys? You're going to, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> guys, sometimes that yep, 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 that comes out, it feels like those are the angels applauding. And I will just hear myself go, yep, yep, yep. And I don't know why I do that, but it feels like the angels are going, saying yes, yes, yes. And it comes out a little bit differently, actually, out of my mouth. So y'all have to forgive me for that. Oh, and there's the letting go. So guys, there's the letting go. Okay. So this again is somebody else 
that is this is somebody that's in that's at that breaking up stage right now. So they're actually sending me little individual messages, but all of you to find the make the dream come true of a better life or a better partnership in the future. You're going to have to let go of a lot of things from your past and make a point of learning some new things to be a better person or to um, <clears throat> let go of some, like maybe your last two relationships were long term and they said, you know, you do this too much or you do that too much and you just haven't been listening. And everybody else, all your friends say, you do do this. And you said, well, gee, I don't know how to stop that. How do I, how do I quit doing this bad habit? So you go and you do a lot of research, you, you, you. You want to get rid of it. Guys, I one time wanted to change my handwriting. And I kept practicing the way I wanted to write my handwriting. How I wanted my name to be signed. How I wanted it to look. And I practiced it for six months. And now I just do it automatically. So somebody's going to let go of something that they've never really thought it was a problem until now. Now you're going, okay, that is a problem. Because everybody's telling me so. But I haven't been willing to listen. And now I am listening. So guys... That's what I'm hearing. Sorry, guys. Sage just tried to climb up my leg. And I've got this I've got this big fluffy pillow right here. And I always I toss her on it. Because she, you know, she and she always claws into it. Now now she's in the basket. She's sending y'all kitty cat love, guys. And Sky is just sitting here. Say good morning, Sky. Sky, tell the tell the earth signs good morning. That's about all I'm gonna get from her, guys. Okay. So, but I'm just feeling like someone is going to you are going to let go of whatever it is that you feel like has been, or the person you meet, they've gone through something similar and they don't want to do this one little thing or two little things that they, you know what I mean? They're going to want to change something and let it go. Yeah. And then we have the world. Somebody is going to go out of their way to make sure that they become the better, the, uh, the, um, they're going to actually listen to their spirit guides and their angels. And they're actually going to, let go of a lot of the things that they feel like have held them back from being the right partner, having the right partner, um, something like that. Okay. Guys, I didn't pull the bottom card. Look at the bottom card. Somebody, guys, this is the Empress. So this is telling me that one of you or two of you, some of y'all that are just starting out, when you find this right person, they're going to be the ones you decide you want to have kids with. Some of you, Rather, you're the, the female or the male, guys, however it resonates, that you're going to meet the person that you feel like you know what you're doing, and this is going to be the one you want to have kids with. Maybe you haven't had kids up to this point. Get back, kitty. Get back. And you are going to decide this is who you want to have kids with. So new, and also a whole bunch of new stuff comes in when you meet this person after you go through this time of change where you decide you want to be a better person. When life starts going really forward, someone, someone I feel like is drastically going to change the way they are because they don't, because they're wanting to do a whole bunch of things they're telling me. Somebody that's like this magician that has all the tools that they need. This feels like somebody in their middle thirties that finally meets the person of their dreams Guys, this is a sub message for somebody. And when they meet this person, this is who they want to have kids with. This is this is a power couple right here, guys. This is the power couple they're telling me about. Power couple. Power couple. That's where the world comes in. Guys, you, you're the couple that's going to help change a lot of things. You, I'm just hearing power couple in my head, guys. I don't know how else to explain it. But it has something to do with the world. They just told me that. Hang on, guys. Let me see this for a second. Yeah. There's some kind of power couple message in here, guys. <clears throat> and whoever whoever this couple is, y'all just, y'all, neither one of you, whatever, one or the other of you or both of you are going to have static from your family who's not going to, they're just not, not going to understand. This could be, I feel like this could be a mixed couple because he's black, she's white. Or this could be somebody, um, maybe you're American and you fall in love with somebody from another country and your family goes, what the hell are you doing? And you're like, I don't care. 
I don't care where he comes from. I don't care. I don't care where he comes from, what money he has or does not have, or in changing energies around guys. It could be the FEMA from another country it meets a man in this country. You know what I'm saying? Switch to them energies around how they resonate with you. But they're telling me this is a power couple that sometime in the future. Well, first of all, they're not going to care what their family say, but going into the future, they're going to be some kind of power couple that has something to do with the world, the world, humanity shifting, changing. I just heard that in my head. And guys, you know, I tell y'all again and again, no matter who you are, nobody can live your life for you. You have to make up your own mind. Okay. Yep. And then we have guys, they're saying this is the end of it. Guys, look what we have then. Will of Fortune. In some way, shape, or form, you, this power couple, they're saying, is going to help change a lot of things for the better. Yeah, because we've got Rado and we've got Fihu. And you're just not going to care what other people think. That's a submission for somebody. All right, let me... Um, I'm going to pull just a couple of people cards. So, um, and guys, I still feel like somebody's hopes and dreams are going to come true with where this is at. And they're going to change themselves and let go of a lot of crap because they want to be, they want to be, uh, I feel like this is someone younger here. This feels like a, middle, a couple in their late 20s, early 30s, guys late 20s, early 30s, this feels like this is a message for somebody younger who's like, they're just, they're just very grounded and they want, they just, they're just wanting to be just better. I just keep hearing better. They want to be better. They want to be better. So let me shuffle these other, um, the uh, um, high court cards. So earth, um, earth angels, <laughs> uh, spiritual counsel for the earth signs. What other people would you like to pull out? To, who else would you like to uh, let them see that shows up along their path? Or maybe is the person responsible for helping them meet this person? Or what other people around them do you want somebody to be aware of? That may, rather it's a sub-message or um, for this power couple or whoever it may be that needs to hear this message. That's an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Venus. Your spiritual counsel may step up, ask, whatever, guide the cards, get back, sage. Hang on, guys. I've got to get the cat off the table. Sky will just sit there, but the kitten wants to just run there. And I've got a lit candle, and I just really don't want to set a fire. Guys, this place would burn so fast, I wouldn't even be able to stop it. We'd all be in dire straits. <laughs> all right. Spirit, guys, what other messages do you want to give regarding other people, places, they, whatever, on these high court cards? They're telling me keep shuffling, keep shuffling. How many times do I have to shuffle? Just keep going, he said. I hear my, guys, I'll hear in my head, keep going, keep going. I mean, I actually hear the words. Other times I'll get pictures of me shuffling the cards, and it'll just like be on an exclamation point saying, keep going. Okay, now they say I can stop. <laughs> All right. Is that good? That's good? You sure? <laughs> Guys, I'm being facetious. So, we have a Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. So, I don't know if this is you or somebody else that you meet. This is, like I've told y'all before, this Knight of Pentacles. It could be a message coming in for someone. But, again, it's a slower-moving energy. It has to do with, with um, money in the hand. It has to do with um, maybe somebody around you that... Maybe this is one of those people that either this is... Another time, this is one, maybe one of the people that doesn't agree. Somebody, um, or you get the message from somebody that they don't agree or something like that, and you're like, I just don't care. You just, you feel like you're just wanting to go for your hopes and dreams. My cards got mixed up again. Guys, and then the next card that I pulled was strength. Whoever you are, whoever you are, you're going to stick to your guns. Okay. Because this is a, a partnership or a relationship that, and I did this yesterday, guys, to show y'all, Algus, relief from stress. Okay? This is someone younger. I keep, as you guys see, keep hearing this is someone younger that is not either agreeing or maybe they're the person that, that introduces you. I'm not really sure, guys. 
I just know that it's a slower moving energy. They're telling me it's um, somebody that's not going to like the relationship and you're just not going to care. Okay, because you're going to do what you want to do. You're somehow in some way, shape or form. Yep, you're going to follow your heart. Right there, guys. We got the Queen of Cups. It's the very next one. You are going to follow your heart. So whoever this message is for, that's what I got. And guys, nobody can tell you how to live your life. There may be other people around. Actually, I think today they're saying these are the people that as you go into the future, as you follow your heart, these are other people that tell you, well, yes, you did the right thing. Both of you did the right thing or you did the right thing in whatever shape or form. And now you're very grounded after you get this relationship. So, guys, this has to do with them going into the future. Okay. Your success, let's see, strength, you're strong, you're moving forward, and this is the energy around both of you, and you, you, this is just the energy around both of you guys, okay, that's what they're telling me, and this is going into the future, so you're both going to leave with your heart, and do the right thing, I hear, for the power couple, yeah, yeah, what do I got on the bottom here? The past doesn't matter, just going into the future does. So, guys, this is for some kind of a power couple, okay? And whoever you are, y'all, you're just going to, it's going to be different, guys. And I still feel like this is somebody from, one of one or the other of y'all are from another country, is what they're telling me. Now, that may not resonate for everybody, but I just know what I'm hearing in my head. And whatever, it's going to bring a lot, this power couple is going to have a lot of abundance going into the future. Um... They're going to lead with their hearts. So, guys, I, I don't know if, you know, and then I, I still feel like I'm still picking. I'm still feeling like there's other people that are at the beginning that are going to be saying, I don't like something about myself. I want my dreams to come true. I'm going to let go of some stuff. So there's like, you see how there's several mini messages in here, guys. But yeah, some of this will resonate for some of y'all. This whole thing's going to resonate. Other people, some's going to resonate. Some won't take what resonates. Leave the rest. Okay, guys? This message doesn't have a time limit on it. But whoever... I still... I, I get really strong feelings from these two right here, guys. This power couple right here. I don't know who you are. And if, if it's the man, the woman, the whatever. Whoever gets this message right here. The angels are saying that there is something in the future that's real important for you two. And I don't know what it is. And it has something to do with this person that... Or this slow moving energy here. I, I don't know. Guys, I've been getting messages about slow moving energy lately. Okay. Um, and actually yet last night after I did the um the other reading that I just posted yesterday or last night, uh, with they had the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Afterwards I kept hearing that's a power couple. That's a power couple. So this is another power couple. So guys, going into the future, I feel like a lot of people, and I don't mean just earth signs, I think a lot of people are gonna be meeting up with people that together they are stronger as a whole than they are separate. Does that make sense? They just showed this to me. They said, no, show this, show this, show this, show this. So they're saying the angels are in, are, are, are guys, that is so weird. Guys are telling me that the angels are trying to keep, put some of you together going into the future because together you're or single. Y'all are okay. But going together, becoming one unit, you become, you're stronger. Guys, that's a message for somebody, someone that becomes a power couple in the future and it's going to be slow and steady. Okay, going into the future, leading with your hearts. Guys, do you see that? Oh my gosh. Wow, that is totally amazing to me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Um, Earth angel, or um, for the earth signs, the angels, the spirit guides. Um, and this is an angel message, guys. Um, they're saying, lead with your heart because you're going to be responsible for something in the future. I don't know, guys. Responsible for something in the future or your relationship's going to just... I don't know. Other people are going to be paying attention to it. Guys, I'm also hearing something to do with royalty, too. You know, I picked up a while back about somebody running from a castle. Um, I don't I don't I don't I don't know. Um, they're saying actually that's going to represent a lot of different things. They're saying that that picture I got of the man running out of a palace. Um, anyway, I, I don't know, guys. They're just saying there's so many changes coming in the future. 
that even relationships, people, a lot of things are going to change, but there's just going to be, uh, guys, I don't know. Hopefully this resonates for somebody. Um, they're saying it will. Um, at any rate, you are better. They're just telling me this goes over here. Guys, you are going to be better as a couple and stronger than you ever were as a single person when you meet this person. I don't know who this power couple is, but it's like another power couple. It's different than that power couple from yesterday. But So this is a message for somebody, okay? All of you, though, regardless for the earth signs, there is a lot of success coming in for you. You have crossed through something. You're on the other side of the wall. And so, guys, if you feel like there's some things you need to fix about yourself, do it, okay? Journal it. Meditate on it. Figure it out because, and this is more than one person, guys. So this, I hope this message resonates for somebody out there that somebody wants to make a big enough difference in their own life and in the world and in and in, in whatever way um, that they decide they're going to do this. And I do know a, a lot of you people are going to be to a point where you're going to be telling your families or somebody, maybe it's not even a family, maybe your best friend says, well, what do you see in her? What do you see in him? I don't know. I just know that it just feels right. Okay? Because you're going to lead with your heart and you're going to be strong. All right, guys. That's what I got for the earth signs today. Guys, if y'all like my messages that I've been getting here lately, and I have been calling in other spiritual counselors because I feel like I pick up y'all's messages better when I do that. Um, my messages that you see, they have gotten so much more in depth. I'm getting so much more. And guys, it's they're just saying everything's changing going into the future. So many things are going to be changing and not the same way. Um, so for wh whoever this message resonates for, I hope you find it, that if it resonates, I mean, like, subscribe and share, guys. Maybe it sounds like somebody else you know. Um, this is an angel message for the earth signs of... Uh, becoming a better person and finding a, pa a person that together, y'all, um, it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. So, guys, I I would love for everybody to have to have somebody that that, the, that together you were better than you ever were before. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you anyone you love wouldn't you want them to have that? So, guys, that makes total sense to me. You you know, and then of course again, like I said, guys, we have this is an angel message. We've got seven and seven. Okay. Um, and we got six with the sub message here. And I still feel like it's an angel message. They're, they're telling me, yes, it is an angel message. All right, guys. That's what I have for the earth signs. Lana's got lighthouse. Be a light in the darkness. And guys, whatever you do, oh, <laughs> let go of all the all the things that, that don't positively serve you anymore. Okay? Because you know what? You have a good heart. <laughs>